Having a crush on the country's baddest boy is not easy, especially when that boy's family and your family are enemies. Now, what is Luna Giordini going to do when Key and Shirley told her that she is not his type and then kissed her and then also, while they were in danger, saved her instead of himself and now he was captured and she was captured by his family. So this is Monkey's Fallen Angels Chapter 9 and without further ado, Lord Byron says hello from London. This is his Instagram, my Instagram, our TikTok. Give this video a like and let's go. Holy sweet Jesus, Mr. Shirley looks even more brow-beating in person than in the media. I can't lie, just one look from him is scaring me to death. What now, Luna? Wasn't clever of you to follow Vince, was it? Wait, he's speaking about my dad. What did he do? Why would my dad take Kian hostage? What did he do? But I always knew it was going to come down to a pile of bodies when it comes to my dad. Because my dad's such a baddie. No, he's not, please. He's just like a little whiny person who can't get over a rejection, you know, for years. Dude needs help. Good lord, what's going on? Why would dad mess with a dangerous man like Ryder? Who are these people? To scare Ryder. I don't think she knows what her father meant by taking Kian. I know, Joshua is clever. I don't think he's enlisted his family in this war. I still wonder why you let him live. Because since I met Dahlia, I became softer. Wrong move. I agree, men like him can't change, never will. Joshua doesn't deserve to die, he deserves worse. Um, can't argue with that. What do we do with her? Lock her in the car until further notice. Nah, she deserves to know the truth. Vince, why was she following you? Um, I, um, speak. She's in love with your son. <gasps> oh my god, he told him. No! Strike that, she has a crush on him. Hell if I know, but she cares about him. Are you serious? Dear Lord, what about Kian? And this is where my loyalty lies, okay? I'm not talking about my bro. Ask him, I won't interfere. This wasn't something I expected. Tyler, until we see where this goes, she stays put, understand? Yep, got you. She can help us. Baron. No, hear me out. Tell her to call her father, we get the location, and then we have the upper hand. Yeah, that is if my father cared about me, which he doesn't, so it's not gonna work. Good try, Baron. Oh, and a lot of you in the comments were like, ah, you already did Baron and... Anyway, we already did Baron's story and yes, we did. But because I read so many stories, I'm scared to be like, have I done this story or have, have I just read the summary of it? You know, like I'm just so jumbled in my mind right now after all these different stories and all the different traveling and just like a lot of stuff. So yes, I know we've done it and the link is in the description below if you guys are interested in checking it out. But I wouldn't until we catch up with their parents. Was that and L. So then after that, you guys can check out Baron's story. Yes? Yes. Anyway, let's continue. Sorry about this little side note. Joshua told you he has your son, but he didn't tell you his location. We can buy a few seconds if we arrive before he plans to tell us. He's right. <laughs> of course I am, please. All right, let me do the talking. Did you know your father has Kian? I don't know anything. Please don't hurt me. I'm gonna say I don't know anything. What? No, I don't know anything. My father and I aren't close. Don't hurt me, please. I swear I don't know what's wrong with my dad. I'm scared. Listen, we're not going to hurt you. This war is between your father and I. If you care about my son, then- You want to use me as bait? Then, okay. No, really. All I need is for you to call your father. Mmm. I'm gonna try, but I don't know if it's gonna work. With one condition. I need to be present when you meet him. I need answers. My dad won't tell me anything. Let me be there. I need to know if what you're telling me is true. I want to be sure that dad has Kane and I want to know the reason for it. Are you sure? A story that lives behind closed doors can destroy you. I need to know. I feel like a blind girl living a life without knowing what's real. Make a phone call. Give me your word. Such a stubborn girl you are. Not even afraid of me. You're gonna be a good daughter-in-law, is what he's thinking. I'll do what I have to to solve this puzzle. Fine, you earned your ticket to the live show, but if you're playing me, then you won't like the after party. I'm calling my father. One minute, that's all we need. Okay, gotcha. Am I helping the good guys or the bad guys here? What am I doing? What if they are lying? What if I'm betraying my blood for nothing? Mm, nah, I'm gonna say, what if they're all lying? What if? Huh? Kian? I'm doing this for Key, and even though he doesn't really care about me, but he does. You know he does, girl. I know for a fact that he's in danger, and if I can help him, then to heck with the consequences. Is it bad that I pray my dad isn't behind this? Is it? I don't think that's a bad thing. Is it bad that I want him to be a good man and not a villain? Not a bad thing at all, girl. Hmm. Dad? What do you want? Rude. Don't you know what time it is? Um, I had a nightmare. I needed to hear your voice. Go back to sleep, Luna. You're not four anymore. You should be past nightmares. Pretty sure you're the reason for my nightmares. No, Dad. This time I'm scared. I can't sleep. Please. I need you. Call your mother, Luna. I'm busy. At this time? Doing what? I got it. 
Go back to sleep. I'll call you tomorrow. Dad, dad. Let's go. Ugh, so annoying. Something isn't right. Oh, you telling me? It's too quiet here. Someone is in the house. It's my boy. Let's go. Bear and save our boy, Kian. Holy. <gasps> Baby doll, he has bruises. We meet again, Ryder. Oh, Joshua, you have so many screws loose. Put your gun down, Joshua. It is between you and me. Let him go. Nah, can't do. He's exactly what I need to win this battle once and for all. What do you want, Joshua? My freedom. Your freedom? Whoa, that's an easy fix. Let him go now. Not happening. Let's negotiate then. Zeth. You let my son go or else. Dad! What the heck? What's she doing here? She was looking for my son. Ah, that's right. The pieces are unfolding. Perfect timing. Don't hurt her. You care? Do not play more games with me. That's right. Untie Kian. Good, good daddy. You jerk. I want everyone out of this room. Now, everyone. Okay, bye guys. Go. Ryder. No, this war is not fit for our children to play. This war is between me and him. Everyone out. Let's go, Luna. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, yeah, I, I accept the puking. I get why she's nauseous. What's wrong with your father? <gasps> Stop it, Kian. She was looking for you, not her father. I don't give a darn. She has his blood. Stop shooting at her. She's innocent. She has no idea what's going on. Do you believe she's innocent? Please. Look at her. Take a good look at her. Why is he so angry at me? Oh my god. Kian. Aaron, thank you for standing up for us. We love you. Thank you. You're a bro now. I... I didn't know. I would never. I don't know what's going on. I was worried for you. I was worried for you. Please, Kian, I swear I didn't know my dad is behind this. We aren't even close. I don't care what you do or don't know. Hear me out, Kian. I'm confused. I would never imagine that. Stop the act, Luna. No cameras are rolling. This is a reality. Our families are enemies and starting today, you are scum. Exactly like your father. Whoa. Oh my god. Wow, that is heartbreaking. Kian, you better make up for this because... You know, we know you do, but mm -mm, not cool. Grr. I guess he now really hates us. Oh my god, what is he staring at? This is so awkward. Yeah, he hates us. I knew the moment he entered his car that the boy I had a crush on is gone completely from my life. Bye. Get in the car, Luna. We have to go. Mm. Luna, Luna. Oh, hey, Vince. I'm sorry. What's he sorry for? I don't even know what my father has done. Why does Ryder hate him so much? Why was that pointing a gun at Kian? I'm gonna say, why does Ryder hate him so much? No, why was that pointing a gun at Kian? Why was that pointing a gun at Kian? Oh. It's so heartbreaking. The man who works for my father starts the car. Wait, what? It's not even Tyler? I thought Tyler worked for Ryder. My tears won't stop. My life is a mess and I don't even know why. <sighs> it's horrid. That was a bit out of line. You don't even know if she was aware of what's happening. She helped your father find you. He has his reasons. After all, she's the enemy's daughter. Wow, you're on his side now, Baron? What did you expect him to do? Hug her? But yeah, that was a bit out of line, Kian. Thank you, Baron. I met a lot of guilty people in my life, and I know how to decipher between the harmful and the innocent. She's innocent, Kian. No matter what you feel about Joshua, his daughter isn't a part of this mess. I think you know that, Kian. I don't care. She's his daughter, and that won't change whether she's innocent or not. I wonder what Ryder and Joshua are doing right now. Was it wise of us to leave them alone? Yeah, they're powerful people. Joshua wants his freedom. What happened long ago left him living under Ryder's permission. He wants to be a free man, and that wants him to leave us alone. They need to reach an agreement. If not, it will be the end of Joshua's life. Do you think your father will give Joshua the freedom he wants? I don't know. Dad is concerned about mom. I'm not sure if Joshua really moved on or if he's still obsessed with her. When I thought our life was complicated. When I was there, for the first time, I was scared. Not for my life, but dad's. Really? For your daddy? So cute. I know he's powerful enough, but Joshua's hate towards him is more powerful than any other man who works for us. Ryder's not stupid. Where's Tyler? Tyler's dad's shadow. He won't leave even if dad says so. Kian, I need to know what you're thinking about. That's my offer. You will have a free hand to run this city. I won't restrict you from anything. I won't interfere in your business and I'll pay you a fee from my year's salary until death. My family won't bother yours anymore. Never. We'll stay away, I assure you that. All this just for your freedom from me? That's why you took my son hostage? Are you losing your mind? You could have arranged a meeting to speak with me like a real man. You need to understand that I have power too over this city. I'm the mayor of this town. The mayor! 
I can easily kill one of yours too. Sign the deal, Ryder, and let's move on with our lives. I'm not signing anything. I'm not stupid, Joshua. Ooh, tie tie. Take this bullet as a warning, Joshua. Next time you intend to harm one of us, a bullet goes straight into your head. You stay out of my business and away from my family if you know what's good for you. You will live under my permission until your very last day. You tell him, Ryder. You tell him. Understand? I don't understand why you don't just end him. Because killing him is too easy. Living without freedom is the best punishment he can get. Every morning when he wakes up, he knows his next day is not a guarantee. If someone wants something this bad, you don't just give it for free. Get to heck, Ryder. Do you want me to shoot your other leg as well? Make sure you stay away from us. This is the last chance I'm giving you. Treat it well. One mistake and your head will be hanging over my doorstep. Ooh, scary. So scurry. Why didn't you end it once and for all? I'm sick of you running in the same circle. Because of his daughter. His daughter? His daughter cares for Kian. Killing her father will destroy her. That's not your concern. She's better off without him. No, Joshua won't die from my hand. You're making a mistake and you know it. He's so nice. He cares about us. You can't afford to be soft. What if the next time Joshua kills you? He's a risk for us. We're at risk every time we step a foot out of our house. So you're telling me that if Kian wants his daughter, you won't interfere? Tyler, we're enemies. Kian won't cross the line. Oh, you know he will. Okay, and you would too. Even if Joshua and his family won't stay away, my family will. We can't cross our part of the deal either. If Kian likes that girl, it's only a matter of time until he can't stay away from her. Remember your story with Dahlia? That's true. You did the same thing. Are you done, Tyler? I'm too tired to keep this conversation alive. What a heavy chapter. Make sure your mother doesn't find out what happened today. This day is between us. I think our dad is texting us. If your mother finds out, then you'll end up in a boarding school in America. <gasps> Oh my god. Whoa, is he for real? Where are you taking me? How? What about summer camp? Your father will take care of it. Unbelievable. I don't want to go home. I can't face my mother. Let me out of this car. Let me go. Ugh. Don't hurt yourself, Luna. There's no way out of this car. Oh my god, who's she calling? Who's she texting? I need answers. You need to stop interfering in my business. If you don't tell me what's going on, I'm telling mom. Don't force my hand, Luna. I will. You know I will. Put this behind you, Luna. It's not your concern. Yes, it is. I saw you pointing a gun at Kian. Do you expect me to stay quiet? You will. If not, I will divorce your mother. You will end up in a boarding school and your mother will live on the streets. Pretty sure she can get a job. The choice is yours. <gasps> God, what do I do? Should I tell mom and take all the risks or keep my mouth shut and let my father get away with this? Oh my God. Wow. Okay, that was it for this chapter. What do you guys think is going to happen between them? Do you think Kian is going to realize he's been rude to us? A jerk? A mean butthole? And he's going to apologize? Or do you think he's going to continue being mad at us and we're going to kind of grovel for his forgiveness? Or we're going to get even with our dad? Who knows? So many options and so many possibilities. Anyway, this was it for this chapter. Like I said, leave your thoughts in the comments below and give this video a like. Subscribe to the notification bell. And I will see you guys later. Bye.